Community members are voicing concerns about plans to bring thousands of tons of radioactive waste to a landfill in Van Buren Township. That waste is from a site in New York where testing was done on the Manhattan Project, which developed, of course, the atomic bomb during World War II. Victor Williams on this story for us tonight. Victor, you've been talking to some folks who live near the landfill. Yeah, that's right, Devin. You know, we are talking about a lot of hazardous material with high radiation levels. So some of the people that live right here in Van Buren Township, they don't want to be anywhere near it. It's very scary. It's in my backyard. It's going to be in my backyard. It's just right across the expressway. 4,000 gallons of contaminated groundwater and 6,000 cubic yards of concrete and radioactive soil will be leaving the state of New York with the final destination being this landfill in Wayne County. Not exactly what Debbie Cartwright wanted to hear today. But I just found out this morning, so I don't know a whole lot about it. I just know it's coming in from New York and it's from an atomic bomb site where they built them and the soil's coming in here. The waste will be coming from what's called the Manhattan Project dating back to the 40s during the World War II era, where hundreds of weapons were tested and created, including the atomic bomb. I'm not happy about it at all. The Department of Transportation has strict rules when it comes down to transporting radioactive and hazardous waste. So the waste will be transported load by load and about 25 semi trucks per week with plans to follow all county, state and federal rules and making sure the transfer is safe. Debbie's just wondering why residents weren't allowed to have any input or even told about what would be happening in their own community. We weren't notified at all. We found out through the newspaper. I don't know if there's anything we can do to stop it. What, what do you do? We can complain and voice our opinion, but what are you going to do? Now, we did reach out to Representative Reggie Miller about this, and she did send over the following statement, which in part reads, quote, This is not the first time Wayne Disposal Inc. and Michigan Disposal Inc. have taken in hazardous waste from other states like always. It is absolutely necessary to protect our community's right to safety. And Van Buren Township, Victor Williams. Hope it stay on this, no doubt. All right, Victor.